Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2. Another episode of my Let's Play. Looks like I am working on a new platformer, Super Luchara Brothers 6. Well, new platformer? Yeah, I guess it's new. It's not a new IP, but it's a new game. Um, QA, graphics, sound are also working on that. We got some people in training over here. We have my marketing team is currently looking to hire an extra sound artist or two. Um, secondary development team is currently working on an update for Lead Dead. Looks like we have no research to do right now. And console development team, which is right here, <laughs> went right by it, is working on cost optimization for the Lucera Pocket, my newest console, which is uh, selling pretty mediocrely right now, but it is a summer slump right now, right? Minus 30% games and consoles sold. That'll jump up when the summer slump ends. And then I'm hoping the holiday period the holiday boost will be good for it it did sell really well until the summer hit um actually all my consoles are kind of selling pretty crappy right now but that'll come um speaking of coming soon uh tech level four uh console will be coming relatively soon as well so i think i can take this off pause we can get these games going this will need a little bit of hype but we can look for some sound artists for now we do have a couple of programmers maxed here. It's two, two people maxed out. Programming. We got you. And we have you. So let's put you in here. And what do we have? Programming. So let's... Uh, you're a game designer. So you're a programmer. So we'll take you to train. And we'll take you to train. So if you're not a programmer, the cap is 50. If you're a programmer, your cap is 100. So that's why this person is technically full, because they're a game designer by trade. And you do need all those different statistics in this room. Um, so, yeah. All right, so we got another sound artist. They are efficient. They are stress averse. That is fine. We don't have crunch here. We don't do crunch at Lootstronics. I care way too much about my people to make them do crunch time. And one more sound artist, and that should be enough. So let's take this off automatic. Um, this team is freed up. What type of game am I going to make next? And do I need to update a engine for that? Simulation? I feel like I should definitely do a simulation game next. Yeah, but I think that engine's up to date, but let's just make sure. Let's make sure. And when I say up to date, I mean up to date with the best tech level three features. Um, there is going to be tech level four stuff, but we're not uh, making tech level four stuff until I have a tech level four console. And even then, we'll probably like alternate tech level three and tech level four stuff, I would say. So I'm going to throw another update at Superbikes 8 because this is the best selling game of all time. And it is still selling. Oh my God, this game is. Um, yeah, you can probably pull this game off the market. I'm not sure why it's not automatically coming off the market. Yes, yeah, Rubik's Eight's still moving 64k a week in the summer slump. That's that's impressive. Oh yeah, it's gonna go over five million here soon. Which will be my first um platinum. That's platinum, right? And then diamond is 10 million. I think. I'm pretty sure that's the case. It might not be though. Oh my oh my god, that is a lot of research all at once. Holy crap. Um, which one do I want to do first? Uh, the orchestral soundtrack, I guess. Which is a feature. We got cases, controllers, memory cards, force feedback, modern controller support. Yeah, that's a lot all at once. All right, so we'll add this to uh, this game, probably. I would say. All right, so let's mark it. Where are you at? Rule chair bros to a TV spot. Let's throw another update at, I think Quest of the Rims was selling fairly well. It's worthy of extra updates, I think. All right, so force feedback is done. Modern controller support is done. So let's uh, uh, 3640. So we have room for three things. So there's one, two, three. We cannot uh, use online multiplayer because one of the consoles that this is for is not online capable. Which is fine. That's not the end of the world. All right, so that's done. So now we can do the hardware. Yeah, we're getting, we are edging ever closer to being capable of making a tech level four console. 
All right. Oh, we lost 120 gameplay points. That kind of sucks. One of my level designers has accidentally overridden a level that has already been completed. The level must now be recreated. Who did it? Tell me who did it. I'm going to fire them. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, yeah, I mean, I could. I could fire them. I'm not going to know. All right, let's do another update for Digger Dugger, which is selling not well. Summer Slump is over. Sales are still not really good right now. Oh, we got 700 meg CDs. We got improved physics level two. All kinds of research stuff coming through here. This is too early for special marketing. All right, so anything could go for a demo. My dead could go for a demo. Yeah, other than Quest of the Rims and Superbikes, everything else is kind of disappointing sales-wise. Why is this still on the market? It's 62 sales a week. That was my first interactive movie. It's not very good. It's not a very good game. <laughs> Just being real. It's pretty mediocre. It's a big ball of mediocrity. And that's okay. It was my first one, right? We got lots of commission work we can do here. So let's blast through those. Perfect. Lord of the Rims Conquest, plus 12. Lead Dead 4, or Lead Dead plus 4. Not Lead Dead 4, we only have Lead Dead 1 so far. Eventually we'll probably have Lead Dead 4, but not yet. All right, so they're bug fixing. They're on their last thing. They're polishing. So yeah, when this is done, we'll be able to put it out pretty quickly, so. I'd say I can probably do the pre-release for the press now and overhype. I think it'll be worthy of overhype. I have I have faith in that. All right. Um, which of these old engines could go for an upgrade? Are any of them still stuck at level two? Yep. Well, strategy has been like the anti-trend for a lot. <laughs> Poor strategy. I've not made a strategy game in a while. Although I have made something that was like multi-genre with the second being strategy I, but i haven't made like a i haven't made a pure strategy game and god it's been a while it's been a hot minute <laughs> all right so those went through we're at 90 percent sorry where stops coming research is coming i do have a bunch of people in training oh did i just get uh my platinum record no not quite yet next week or two weeks yeah, man, it's made $80 million. That's pretty, that's pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Um, what was I going to do? Going to do something. That's right. Something, quote unquote, something. Let's throw another updated super bikes. Why not at this point? Um, do either of my, any of my consoles need marketing? 81 hype. Yeah, Lachera Brox Pro could go for it. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I remember now. Uh, just give me a sec. Their box pro TV spot. I was going to take these researchers out of training and get them up here. We can move them back once we have nothing to research, but I want to get through this stuff ASAP and let's end automation here. Why can't I end automation here? That's weird. Okay. We'll cancel tasks once this is done. Cause I'm pretty sure once this research is done, I'm going to be either capable of making a tech level four or very close to being able to. All right, so let's just polish this for like a week. And we'll get this out. Should be a really good game. That was like two weeks. <laughs> kind of asleep the wheel. I score in all four categories. That's promising, right? I'm expecting this to be like 98%, give or take. Go with Cupcoms because it's a platformer. Actually, although that's a lot of things that we had no experience in whatsoever, which hurts. And we'll see. I'm 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 going to revise my estimate down to 97%. Oh, I should have stuck with my gut. Always go with your initial <laughs> your initial instinct. 98%. That's good though. We're happy with that. Alright, so sim. Sequel. Bow hunter. Seven. Let's go. Survival simulation survival game. That's right, two A. Multi genre did there. Last uh, last instance. 
All right, so Civ Engine, multi-platform. I don't know, have I done more multi-platform or exclusives lately? The last one I did was multi-platform. Yeah, that's why these are selling so poorly, because they're exclusive for just my consoles, and neither of those consoles have a ton of sales, or a ton of units sold, or I guess they don't have a big user base, is the term I'm looking for, right? I mean, this one has 29 million, but this one only has 1.2 million, but this is the best way to build it up, right? So future games will have the big user base. I mean, I was going to say, as long as these games don't lose money, yeah, but it looks like Lead Dead might lose money. No, Lead Dead is going to lose money. Like, I'll be surprised. Digger Dugger will be fine, but I think Lead Dead is going to lose money. Um, Did this visual novel lose money? No, it made money. Not much. 60, moved 16 whole copies last week. Woohoo. Put that there. We'll put that there. Put this there. Sure. Everything else is good already. Um, let's just put a few more points there. Like that. 40 of 40. Holy crap. So we are going to be doing AAA games pretty soon. Wheel support. I mean, wheel support because it's a simulation game, but this is not that kind of simulation game. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, I can't, I can't use online multiplayer. I forgot to take that out. Now it has been removed. All right, so let's quickly do the game report. For Super Luchera Bros. Let's immediately jump on the marketing. For Bowhunter, get it up to 90. Graphics and sound, let's go. Actually, let's do this commission work first. Let's just get that out of the way. It'll be really quick go okay and the contract work or the game reports are done super bikes 8 has gone platinum finally have a platinum game i'm pretty sure this is the first platinum right oh yeah oh man this is like by the time this game is done it's going to be double the next highest i don't know what exactly went so right with that but take it <laughs> i will take it all right where are you at platinum record there you are boom looks good looks good on the wall i gotta say especially with the canal back there <laughs> all right that's good though all right so this console stuff research team is almost through Okay, Earp Room, John Goes Farming is off the market. Oh, hey, more console stuff just came through. <laughs> now I'm confident that we'll be able to do Tech Level 4 once this is all done. But they got to get through it first, which is not, not easy necessarily. And what do we want to market here? How are my consoles now? 91, 98, 87. That's a little early. Record research says next trend is going to be simulation. Ooh, maybe I should have waited to make this. Yeah, no, it'll be. It'll line up with the. It's the change. 17 weeks. Let's just say this. Bow Hunter 7, not 4. Bow Hunter 7 will definitely still be on the market when the trend becomes simulation. If it does become simulation. Right? That's a. My people think it's going to be simulation, but they're not necessarily right. Um. Ooh, we're one year away from the mocap studio. Should I do some more programmers? I have a bunch. Now let's grab some extra programmers here. Though well, I have a lot already, <laughs> obviously. But I'm going to need a lot, right? Because, yeah, a lot of these people that are just programmers, they're going to get moved out of their current rooms and into the mocap studio. So we're going to need lots of programmers. Specialist, let's go inexhaustible. Doesn't take breaks. Okay. Looks good. 
Hunter 7's a little over half done. More items for quality. Well, yeah, whatever. I did not win best graphics. That's disappointing. But I won pretty much everything else there is to win. And Nanko, pretty sure Nanko is one of mine, right? Yeah, I own them. So I kind of won this one too. In a roundabout kind of way. <laughs> All right. Um, inexhaustible. You have room in this training? Yes. So let's put them in training. And okay. So as soon as this is done. Oh, we got another one. Another programmer. Okay. So, oh, we got an all round. Oh, yes. Sign me up for that person. All right. So let's cancel this task. This cost optimization. We'll come back and finish this later. Just want to check. New stationary console. Hey, look at that. Tech level four all around. Back level four all around. So we got the Lucera box. And before that, we had the what? The Lucera vision. So let's go with the Lucera super system. Yeah. Tech level four, baby. Uh, predecessor model, the Lucera box pro. Case. Let's go with a nice blue case. There we go. Go four controllers, modern controller one. We will include Superbikes 8, since it's apparently the best game ever. <laughs> can be internet. Can be connected to the internet. Very important. And we'll backwards compatible it with everything else. Include everything here. And away we go. So that's going to take a minute or two to be done, but that is okay. Uh, let's throw a second updated Super Luchair Bros. And I'm curious to see how that is selling. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Look at all the, the boosts and sales for the holiday season. Always good to see that. Another programmer. It's good, though. We want to have extras, right? That's the whole idea right now. Um, so how are my consoles selling in the holiday season? Oh, nice little boost. Oh, yeah, the Lucera Pocket especially. is finally, finally seems to be catching on. Which is big. Uh, let's just keep, yeah, let's just keep throwing updates and stuff. It's going to help in the long run. And we got, oh, we got a console feature. So we, we can add that on the fly to the Super System, which will be good. Um, all right, so let's, that's enough for programmers for now. So let's market this new console. Let's get this. Let's start building this up. Brick by brick. A little bit by a little bit. Get it to at least 40 here, which is really quick. How? Oh, yeah, that game's almost done. So let's start the pre release special marketing for Bow Hunter. Pre release for the press. Um, so, yeah, which are these engines all up to date? I can, ooh, or do I want to do a tech? Do I want to do a tech level four game? No, not yet. Because I have research to do first. After this, we can do a tech level four game on my new console. All right, so 80 to 100. Let's continue development. Get some overhype. And what do we want to do here? Let's throw, you know, let's just keep throwing updates of games. I feel like you get your money back usually when you do this. It's worth it. I think. I mean, I could be wrong. All right. Overhype did not go through. That is okay. We're polishing. We're polishing. We're polishing. Let's give it maybe half a week of polishing. Then we will release Bow Hunter 7 onto the world. No, we won't. We're gonna wait. All right. So what kind? What am I gonna make next? This game's gonna be tech level four. So, um, just looking here. What's popular? Well, I haven't done a visual novel yet. Action. Yeah, let's do an action game. Pirate Ninjas. Let's do a Pirate Ninjas sequel. So that means we need to have our action engine up to date. Ooh, we, don't, we don't even have the best tech level three stuff. All right, so that's going to take a minute. That is okay. We can wait. We can polish while this comes through, right? That's fine. All right, so they're done of research. We can add this console feature, user profiles. Yes, please. 
All right, so they're caught up on research, so we can take a few people out and put them in training. Oh, wow, 70 is my lowest researcher. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, and we got maxed out graphic designer. Just the one? Yep, just the one. And we will switch out the worst, which should be around 55-ish. 58, nice. Oh, yeah, once we get these two up, my lowest will be 77. That gets a big thumbs up for me. Speaking of thumbs up, if you're enjoying the video, enjoying this series in general, hit that thumbs up button. Give it a like. It helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. All right, so that's good enough for Bowhunter. Polish, finish development, search publisher. Let's go with Epicsware. The simulation is their strength. My second time making these games, so that's good. Future ones should be even better, right? Because we have all kinds of experience now. Well, not all kinds. Two games. 98%. That seems to be the low bar for my games these days. All right, so develop a game. Wait, uh, then I'm just not done. I guess I should have paused till the engine was done. Because that was the plan. Not a big deal. Sequel. Pretty sure Pirate Ninjas is off the market right now. Or we could do Destroyer of Asteroids. But I'm pretty sure Pirate Ninjas is a more valuable IP. Yes, it is three star IP. This might need to be triple A, but we'll leave it at double A for now. Um, action engine, multi-platform, yeah. So we'll go PC and my three, basically. No, if we're doing tech level four, then we can't put that one in there. That's right too. Macintosh, and what else is tech level four or better? Are there even any other? Okay, so that's it for tech level four. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, we get a lot of users. And that means there'll be a game for the Lutera Super System as soon as it comes out, right? Although, oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold the phone. Let's back up, back up. Somebody made the comment but that my first tech level four game, I should do a remaster instead. Um, because it's right because it's my first tech level four and we have no experience in all four of those engine features it kind of kind of make the game be not as good so if we do a remaster it's a lot cheaper to make a remaster right um let's make remake pirate ninjas five or six let's go five um remasters are cheaper considerably cheaper um to make and it'll just it'll just be good for my first one. It's a nice cheap way to get my first tech level four out there. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, Cause yeah, having no experience in any of these, it's not great. It's not great. So yeah, no, I like this. I like to. I I, I did say I was going to take that suggestion to heart. So let's do that. And we can include online multiplayer. Finally. Yeah, so it only costs like 80% of what it would normally cost, right? Or we get our rate is 80% off. Either way, way cheaper to make a remaster. Just a good way to get that initial star, right? Obviously, five stars are better than four stars or better than three stars, etc. But the jump from zero star to one star is the most important one, right? So hitting all four at once with one nice, cheap, easy to make remaster is a good idea. Oh, that gets no hype though. I'm surprised it got no hype. I don't like at all. Like I didn't expect it to have like 60 hype. I expected it some have some. I mean it's fine. I can get it the 100 hype easy enough, but I'm just a little surprised, that's all. Adjustable censoring. Okay, okay. Let's research that. Unfortunately, I cannot add it to this game, though, because it's at 40 of 40 features. Not the end of the world. Energy crisis. 100% operating cost for servers. I don't have any servers yet. I don't think very many people have servers yet. So that's not a big deal. By the time this becomes relevant, or by the time this goes away, 
I probably still won't have any servers. So that event doesn't really matter to me. Which is a good thing, I guess. All right, so we got a game designer maxed out here. Or technically, it's a programmer who's maxed out in game design. All right, so let's take my lowest game designer who is a game designer. It would be you, Marcus Meyer. Get you trained up. Ready to go. All right, so my customer support team is clearly big enough. They have 0% Q. They have no Q, essentially, which is good. That's what we want. Eventually, they'll fall behind, right? But for now, we're good. All right, so we got internet marketing is unlocked. Internet ads. All uh, right, what do we want to do here? Free update for probably Super Lucero Bros. 6. Yeah, that's selling really well still. That's kind of impressive. But yeah, Lead Dead is definitely going to lose money. But when you factor in, you know, consoles sold, probably, you know, mostly break even or come close to breaking even at least. Let's give Bowhunter 7 a demo. Get the hype up a bit on that. So yeah, the remaster is almost... No, not, it's not. It's almost, almost done. It's at 75%. And now let's do another update for Bowhunter 7. And then I need to figure out what type of game I'm making. Ooh, strategy is the trend. Not simulation. So I did update the strategy engine, right? Yes, only to tech level three, which is fine. Because I'm mostly going to make tech level three games. It's just, it's nice to have the option to make tech level four, right? All right, Luchara Hockey 91 is off the market. Not bad for an exclusive. Like an exclusive for just one console too, right? Not a manufacturer exclusive, a pure exclusive. And let's do this commission work. And yeah, we can definitely start really special marketing for this remaster i'm not sure if it's going to be worthy of overhype um yeah 80 to 100 that's uh that's worthy of overhype so let's overhype it make sure that everybody is polishing oh graphics team's falling a bit behind they were the slowest there so i'm gonna have to beep up my graphics team a little bit i think graphics there it is inexhaustible let's go and yeah, let's throw another updated digger dugger. Why not? Right worked. There's another graphics designer. And release. 80 to 100. That is what we like to see. That is a sight for sore eyes. Lots of high scores, too. So this should be good. Oh, I can't yet. Because <laughs> of the super system. So we'll just tuck this away. It's 70-ish percent done. So that'll be next episode. We'll release that. And that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. Shout out to my patrons. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you very much for all the support. Links in the description down below to that. You can also find a link to my Discord. We do sometimes play multiplayer. Made Games Tycoon 2. And we organize it in Discord. Most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.